All right, y'all, part two on the Bible and church being the synagogue of Satan. Those who are seeking salvation, they are the dead in Christ who cannot do all things because they have to repent of their sins, even though their sins have been forgiven, past, present, and future. And repent doesn't even mean turn. How about that? Repent means to grieve. Go back and read Genesis where the word repent is used for the first time. The law of first mention. We'll tell you that you're wrong about repentance. We'll tell you that you are all living in hell right now. That hell is not a place you go. Okay? You believe it's a place you go. That's why you're seeking salvation. That's why you're dead in Christ and all this other shit. And you just don't get it because Jesus taught a different God than what Paul taught, than what Moses taught. Okay? I covered that in part one. Jesus taught we are all the bodies and members of that living God, the Christ. Okay, The Jews hated this. The religions hate this. The Christians, they hate this. Jesus also went against that Roman Catholic Church. All your denominations today, all your pastors, the pastors, the deaf dudes. They are the Pharisees. Just because they come up with new words doesn't mean... They're not a Pharisee. The pastor is a Pharisee. The church is a synagogue. The synagogue of Satan is the outward Jew and the inward Jew. It's the Judea Christian nation. Okay? So, there's very little Jesus in that Bible. It's the history of the Jews, the history of the bell worship, the history of the outward Jew, the history of the inward Jew. And the history of Jesus and the prophets going against the church, going against the religions, going against the Jews. Jesus, the prophets, have two, two laws. How many does your church have? How many does Paul have? How many are you repenting from? Why are you repenting when it's all been forgiven? Past, present, and future, it's all been forgiven. It's all been washed and covered away with the blood of Jesus. Do you not accept that blood? It tells you you're made perfect. Do you not accept that? Because you are. You can be. Obviously, you're not going to be that perfect eating Cheetos and bonbons. But you know what? There's a time and a season for Cheetos and bonbons. And it's called maybe a picnic or a special occasion or whatever. Okay? There's foods and food. One gives you life, and one acts like it gives you life. One gives you life like um, abundance in your temple, and then one gives you life as far as like, oh, I'm cool eating this or drinking this. <clears throat> so, the sons of God can do all things. They just choose not to necessarily. The beast men... They do all things. They just can't choose not to. So, there's a little bit of difference there. Um, <clears throat> so, Jesus grew up in the Roman Empire, or walked around in the Roman Empire time. You got the Greek. That's your uh, Kamala. Or, I'm mean, sorry, the Greek is Biden. The Latin is Kamala. And the Ten Heads and the No Heart and sit, Shit like that or whatever. Um, well, the people who, the ten men who rise against the Kamala will be the no heart man. And that's the people in the church. All right, because that's why they're all filled with hate and they're going to rise up and kill people. Um, they're the anti, they're going to be the antichrist in a way. There's many antichrists and, and knowing that man is the Christ and these people are going against us, they're anti-man, they're anti the living God. 
and they've done that either through this method or through the magazine coming and all those other things. So the Aramaic, may, the, the Aramaic is the Air Ram Mike, all right, um, or the Air Ram I see. Um, 